A kiss on the hand may be quite continental, but diamonds are a girl's best friend. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Marilyn Monroe style moments. Terribly sorry to bother you, but I forgot the key to my front door, so I had to ring your bell. I feel so silly. Happy birthday, Mr. President. Ooh, do you feel the breeze from the subway? Isn't it delicious? For this list, we're looking at memorable movie outfits as well as other looks made famous by this Hollywood icon. Which of this blonde bombshells looks would you want to rock? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. The figure-hugging bikini from Something's Got to Give While Marilyn was considered a pin-up and sex symbol, first and foremost, she was an icon for body positivity. A swimwear model in her early career, Marilyn celebrated her enviable figure and natural curves whenever she could. Whether she was posing for her Miss Morale photo shoot or revealing her hourglass silhouette on the set of Something's Got to Give, Marilyn gave us plenty of swimsuit inspiration. Sadly, she was fired from the movie and it remained unfinished. Two months later, Monroe was found dead, an apparent suicide at the age of 36. It wasn't until 1989 that the material was rediscovered, and the following year, it was aired in a one-hour documentary, giving us another glimpse of this fashionista. And it's been accepted ever since that her work on Something's Got to Give was a sad finale to an otherwise spectacular career. Number 9. The Split Thigh Green Dress from River of No Return <laughs> Looked around the country and I've seen it all. While the movie failed to make a lasting impression, the same can't be said for this dress. Playing a dance hall singer named Kay, Marilyn wears a daring green and red velvety dress with a beguiling thigh slit that allowed her to move around the bar with ease. Ooh, looking for nuggets? <laughs> Mush. The outfit accentuates her covetable shape as she expertly maneuvers the material to tease her audience and keep them hanging on to her every word. It seems like one fan was particularly taken by this look, as they reportedly successfully bid more than half a million dollars when it went up for auction in 2011. Who's gonna help me file my claim tonight? Number 8. The polka dot halter neck dress from the seven year itch. Yes? What is it? I'm terribly sorry to bother you, but I forgot the key to my front door, so I had to ring your bell. I feel so silly. It's perfectly all right. Marilyn liked outfits that emphasized her figure, often opting for white dresses, halter necks, and fitted waistlines. The dress she wore for the hand printing ceremony outside Grauman's Chinese Theater is certainly stunning, but there is another polka dotted number that is simply breathtaking. Got anything else I can do for it? Yes, would you mind pressing it again? Press what? The button. My fan's caught in the door. In the seven year itch, Marilyn enters in a flattering tailor dress paired with white gloves and her signature bold red lip, leaving her neighbor utterly yet understandably enchanted. This dress often lives in the shadow of another legendary white dress from the same movie, but it's beautiful in its own right and deserves some recognition, too. You all right? Oh, sure. Fine, fine. Well, good night. Number 7. Floral Dress Shortly after signing with 20th Century Fox, a fresh-faced early 20-something Monroe posed for this photo shoot to show off her new look. Unlike most of the other outfits we've discussed so far, this one exudes a more youthful innocence. While it does still emphasize her slim waist, it's more reserved than the style she would later become known for, perhaps reflecting a time of transition for the young star. The satin gown, with its floral embroidery and puffed sleeves, only serve to frame her natural beauty, while the demure silhouette allows her star quality to radiate around her. Number 6. Making Denim Fashion in the Misfits this is an outfit we've probably all worn before, jeans and a white button-down. But somehow Ms. Monroe takes this basic uniform and makes it into something so cool we can only aspire to look this put together. Marilyn wasn't exactly famous for wearing pants, and when she did, it was often a cropped trouser or cigarette pant. Still, it's wonderful to know things. But in the movie The Misfits, her final completed film in fact, her usually glitzy and more glamorous style was notably more laid back and casual, a vibe exemplified by this combo, which is completed by cowboy boots and belt. Marilyn was a style icon and tastemaker, and as such, she was one of the first women to make denim fashion. 
With the added Storm Rider's denim jacket by Lee, this low-key Levi's look became iconic and influential in its own right. I thought they were used for riding or for... Well, sure, they used to be. Number 5. The Silk Gown with the Fur Stole This entry takes us from the most casual to the most glamorous. Exemplifying the glitz and glamour of Hollywood's golden era, Marilyn arrived at the premiere of the musical movie Call Me Madam in an outfit suitable for royalty. This is your television premiere, isn't it, Marilyn? That's right. It feels almost like making pictures. The sleeveless, silk figure-hugging gown with matching opera-length gloves and fur stole was quite the showstopper. She wasn't even in the movie, and it's hard not to think that all eyes were on her. Marilyn dressed like the icon we know her to be, and if there were any doubts about her superstardom before, then this dress certainly put them to rest. Number 4. The Sleek Gold Lame Dress from Gentlemen Prefer Blondes Although she only wore this dress in a blink-and-you'll-miss-it moment, we couldn't pass up the opportunity to talk about it. Ginger Rogers wore a similar dress in the 1952 movie Dreamboat, which may have inspired Marilyn's look as she reportedly fell in love with the gown when she visited the set. I had no idea you'd be here tonight. Nothing was planned. I, I merely said and did what was in my heart. The scene-stealing dress may have also awakened the green-eyed monster in Joan Crawford, who allegedly called it vulgar. The plunging neckline, open back, and gold pleats were considered daring at the time and barely made it past the censors. Of course, Marilyn didn't make a name for herself by blending in with the crowd. Number 3. The Happy Birthday Mr. President Look Mr. President, the late Marilyn Monroe. Everything about this moment is cemented in cultural history, from the breathy vocals to the iconic location and, of course, the dress designed by Jean-Louis. Happy Birthday, Mr. President. Happy Birthday. The nude colored fabric was embroidered with 2,500 rhinestones and was so form fitting that she couldn't wear anything underneath. Sadly, the day of this celebration, May 19, 1962, also marks one of Monroe's final public appearances, as less than three months later, she was found dead in her home. In 2016, the dress sold for a record breaking $4.8 million, surpassing the previous record that also belongs to this fashion icon, for another dress that may or may not be on this list. Number 2. The Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend Ensemble from Gentlemen Prefer Blondes A kiss on the hand may be quite continental, but diamonds are a girl's best friend. Considering how famous this dress became, it's crazy to think that this was actually costume designer William Trevia's Plan B. After a scandal involving some nude photos she took pre-fame, Trevia was instructed to make a less revealing costume than the showgirl number he had initially planned. Men grow cold as girls grow old, and we all lose our charms in the end. The strapless shocking pink dress with matching opera-length gloves, oversized bow at the back, and punctuated with diamond accessories became a legendary addition to movie history. As well as becoming an icon of costume design, the look has been celebrated in popular culture and lovingly imitated by many, perhaps most famously by Madonna. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. The simple black suit. Marilyn wore this suit to wed Joe DiMaggio. The thigh split sequin embellished dress from Ladies of the Chorus. She sported the thigh split look before today's A-listers brought it back into fashion. Every baby needs a dad, dad, daddy. Could my dad, daddy be you? The dress she wore to sing to American troops in Korea. We imagine she brought some much needed sparkle. The cut out magenta dress from Niagara. A simple frock that shows off her famous figure. Would you mind playing this? Yeah, sure thing, lady. The showgirl outfit from Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, effortlessly bringing some glamour to the movie. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. 
you have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Iconic Subway Great Dress from the 7 Year Itch It's hard to imagine a dress reaching higher levels of infamy than this one. In the movie, Monroe famously stands over a subway grate, allowing her white dress to blow upwards and expose her legs. Ooh, do you feel the breeze from the subway? Isn't it delicious? While the style of the dress reflected the fashion of the era, the halter neck and close-fitting material are synonymous with Monroe's personal style. In the 90s, it joined Debbie Reynolds' private collection of Hollywood memorabilia before being auctioned off for the at-the-time record-breaking $4.6 million plus $1 million commission in 2011. This cocktail dress is responsible for one of the most famous and defining images of the 20th century. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.